Thanks for watching this video filled with unusual facts. Today we're going to talk about the most awkward pregnancy photos ever. We've talked about pregnancy before, this type of pregnancy even more unusual than you can imagine. Watch all the way to the end of this video, it helps us out a lot when you hit the like button with a thumbs up if you subscribe and send this video on to your friends. Reese, who is a transgender man, is pregnant. In a new episode of their podcast, he and Chaplow talk about their decision to have a baby, going through a miscarriage, finding out Reese was pregnant, telling their families, and how people react to seeing a pregnant man. On preparing his body for pregnancy, in order to get pregnant, Reese had to stop taking testosterone, which meant that his periods started coming back for the first time in 10 years. He and Chaplow started to get discouraged. But while many cisgender women who are trying to get pregnant might feel the need to blame their body for failed attempts, Reese found a way to be much kinder to his body. He says, I had to work so hard to feel great about my body that I didn't ever blame it on my body. I just sort of thought, maybe this isn't meant to be. Maybe we learned what we were supposed to learn from this experience and we need to just sort of accept where we are and this beautiful family we have, which is not a consolation prize at all. And one morning I woke up and felt really, really bad. Like I had a fever bad. Like lying on the tiles of the bathroom floor because how cool they are, feels good on your face kind of bad. And I randomly grabbed one of the tests and it came back positive. And I was like, oh my, this is actually happening. Now, on telling Chaplo that he, Reese, was pregnant, Reese told the longest, shortest time that he and Chaplo were anxious for their six-week appointment when pregnant people get their first ultrasound. And on the week of the appointment, he called the clinic to make sure his doctors were aware and prepared to treat a pregnant dad. Reese says, I can feel someone looking at my face and searching for the remnants of womanhood. They can kind of squint their eyes a little bit, and I can tell they're trying to like take away my beard. Triple checking that this clinic was prepared to treat transgender people though, paid off. Reese says, there hasn't been an ounce of transphobia from anyone I've come in contact with. I expected to have to show extra ID, them to have to call their manager, all kinds of things, and none of that happened. I went to give blood at a phlebotomy lab, checking in with the person at the desk, and she would type in my medical records ID, and she'd be like, okay, you're here for your six weeks along with blood test? Oh, six weeks along, congratulations, you look good. Here's what Reese says on telling his mom. After ultrasound, Reese wrote an email to his mom to break the news. I didn't know what her response was going to be, and I didn't want to put her on the spot with the expectation that she was going to fawn and gush. I wrote like five or six drafts of this email just to make sure that I got it right. And she wrote back right away, congratulations, I know you're going to be great dads. Their son Riley is happy to have a new baby coming to their family soon, but also worried about kids at school and what they might say if they knew his dad was pregnant. He tried to ask us if we would pretend like the baby was just our cousin, that we would be babysitting, Reese said. For him, it's literally like just anything to have this not be our baby that my dad gave birth to. So, you know, we're happy to let him protect himself however he needs, but there is a limit, and pretending that the baby is not ours is where the line is drawn. Their daughter Haley, on the other hand, is overjoyed to tell anyone and everyone. She's told everybody in her class that her dad is transgender and is having a baby and she's going to be a big sister, so we've kind of gotten to see it play out. On people's reactions to seeing a pregnant man and keeping himself safe. Safety is a big worry for all transgender people, but especially for a visibly queer and pregnant man. So Reese has figured out how to protect himself while in public. Because it's still freezing cold in Portland, he says he's able to layer with a chunky sweater, a long open coat, and then a drapey scarf, so you can't tell at all. But the one place Reese is really public about his pregnancy is online. He posted a video explaining why he, as a transgender man, would even want to be pregnant on Facebook and got a lot of feedback, both positive and negative. He says, everything from a lady upon learning that I'm a trans person who's pregnant saying that I look like a circus freak and much worse things than that have been said to me about me, all the way to trans people who are angry that I even made a video to begin with because I shouldn't have to explain myself at all. 
all the way to trans people who are angry that I even made a video to begin with because I shouldn't have to explain myself. And what Reese says about how cool it is to be pregnant? It's really awesome. And that's like, not cool to say, Reese said. You're supposed to like, complain about your ankles or whatever. But I've been having a blast being pregnant. Feeling the movements has been so cool. The kids every night will read stories to my belly. You know, it's just been really awesome. Well, how's that for some unusual facts? You can let us know that you watched this video by giving it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Subscribe so you never miss another unusual fact.